Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Organic Root Challenge. We are down at the, the wee little uh, wool production area and um, Greenland's Auction Centre wool. And yeah, look at us. We have quite a bit of uh, fabric here. So, two, four, six, eight, nine thousand is that? Yeah, nine thousand litres of fabric. As you saw from the intro, we have had a fairly busy winter, so winter saw us getting a few things done. Um, as you saw from the intro, we have bought ourselves a manure spreader and used that to spread some manure on our uh, roadside farm grass field. So that is now fully fertilised. Um, and then yeah we also did a few other things which basically involved selling stuff so we sold the remainder of our silage that was in uh, our barns at the main farm and um, so we, in total we sold five and a half loads of um, sorry four and a half loads of silage from there um, and then yeah we moved on to potatoes we sold the potatoes 36,000 litres of premium potatoes we sold uh, and then on top of that, we then sold, um, what was it, 34,000 litres of seed potatoes as well. So that cleared that area out. And then we moved on to the butter chocolate cheese, got all that sold. And I think in total, um, 20, 45, 48 and a half thousand uh, do pounds, dollars, let's just change that since we are in the wrong currency, there we go um, and then yeah we also sold another load of methane so a great demand came up on the methane uh, which is quite handy so we got 27,000 pounds for that uh, what we had in storage and then we Finally, as you saw from the intro, we sold our honey, and the honey there we sold, um, there was 40,000 litres of it, and that came in at £87,000, so we made a good lot of money from that. Um, we also bought a lorry trailer as well, um, just to help with the bulk, bulk, of, uh, bulk of that honey, because yeah, there was a lot of it. Um, so yeah, we've now got a, a big, oof, that was a big bump, we've then got a, a big trailer for that as well. So down at this area, the sugar's been going mental, um, so I've got 39,000 litres of sugar in storage here and some butter. Now I did an auto load of some of the goods here and it did a bit of a funny thing, so I think I had one, two, three about 4,000 litres of product stuff there and it did a sunny, funny glitch so I ended up with 478 litres of butter but not to worry, never mind um, so let's take uh, this fabric up here in fact I'll turn round because I'm not going to put it here we're going to build ourselves a spinnery as you saw from probably the, the thumbnail yeah we're going and uh, the title we're going into a bit of a uh, bit of fabric fabric making or clothes making so i'm going to put it here um so we need productions and scroll along till we get to it that's the one the tailor shop um so it's hundred thousand to put this in but as you can see our money is pretty pretty healthy just now so we'll go for this um, which way around should we have it? Probably have it this way around actually. We'll have it fairly close to here. That way it's not going to go a bit funny. So put it there. Hopefully this will work okay. Do a little bit of landscaping. I'm not going to mess about with this too much. Um, find the gravel though, that's probably the best one to use. So definitely need a way into the back here. There we go. And then 
at this end. I'll just tidy this up a bit. A little bit unevenness, so I don't know whether we'll be able to flatten it, but we'll see. Uh, sculpting, flatten, soften. There we go. Oh well, that's good. Just try and flatten that out a little bit. Just neaten it up. It's a little bit better. should do there. So that's all there now. So we need to put the fabric in this side. So let's test my uh, driving skills. Probably just go over the grass actually. <laughs> That'd be lazy. I could reverse it in couldn't I? Let's see if we can get this going then. There we go. The rainbow fabric is going in. Lovely. So, we'll get that process in. Process is not too bad a speed actually. 1080. Yeah, so, not too bad. Fairly slow. But, it's on the go anyway, so we've now got some fabric on the go. First time I've done fabric in the game so far, so... Uh, sorry, it's clothing. I've done fabric. But, yeah, first time I've done clothing. So that's in there now. Um, so, I think what we need to do now then, um, I'm going to spend a little bit more money. I think I'm going to get some uh, bees. It's now spring, so I'm going to top up the bees uh, up at the main farm. And I might actually, I'm tempted to put in another beehive um, and try and make, make some more money out of it. Um, we also, it's into planting season, so we need to plant some potatoes. Uh, we need to plant some uh, sugar beet. I think we'll do the sugar beet this episode. Um, and then, yeah, hopefully move on to something, some uh, potatoes after that. Uh, and yeah, I think we'll just uh, we'll go from there. So probably see you up at the main yard, the main farm, I think, um, and we'll go go from there. Okay, we're not up at the farm. <laughs> so something's come off on the deals. Now I don't really want to get rid of this tractor, but. A good deal has come up on the tractors um, and it's going to yeah, definitely help out the farm as it grows a bit more. So this JCP has been an absolute workhorse. I have loved using it um, and it is a fantastic mod. But there is a new tractor that has uh, just appeared in the second hand deals. John Deere 7R. Now 98,000 but um yeah with a few modifications i think yeah it's gonna push it up a little bit but let's uh jump on here because we need to repair this i'm gonna repaint it and that is giving us an extra couple of grand so i'm gonna sell it boom 72 hours on that okay so let's do it. So 305 horsepower, so instant power upgrade. Um, I could upgrade right to 388 horsepower as well. So we've got some wriggle room there. Uh, I'm going to keep them on with some wheel weights, I think. Does it cost any more to do? Yeah, it's the same. So we'll go for the Michelin, I think. With wheel weights, EU design, three point hitch. Uh, 
hands. Yeah. Should I? Yeah, we may as well. Why not? Fantastic. And yeah, we'll change the number plate. So. Okay. Organic five going through the vehicles. <laughs> so half charged, half charged, half uh, maintained. So let's uh, repair this. Four grand to repair it as well. Blimey. So he spent the cash there, and then we need to get some bees as well. So in here somewhere, I've got a lot of uh, pallets installed at the moment. There we go, bees. So buy two of them, three of them. So there's our three B pallets. We'll get these on here, nice and light. And yeah, somehow I've got to do a juggle with the John Deere's the John Deere tractor and get that up the up the road as well. Uh you might notice there's a vulture sitting in the background there as well. <laughs> so I actually have some other contracts other than baling contracts that have come up. There's some fertilising contracts, so I've leased this as part of the contract. Um, Valtra T195 and the, uh, the Amazon Hopper here, so we'll get that, get those contracts done at some point as well. Um, but priority really just now is to get these up and just going to turn this off a second. Okay. Uh, Go and get these bees up like I was going to, and um, yeah, we'll get up to the main farm. Okay. Oh, up at the main farm, and yeah, let's get the the bees in here. There we go. And uh, oh. More in. There we go. How many bees have we got in there? Aye, so that's pretty much full now. So honey is producing, and yeah, what we'll do, we're going to put in another beehive. So get there, cross to it. So honey production. So I'm going to put this one in this field. I'll have to do there. Um, I will probably do a bit of landscaping off screen, but that's fine. And then, yeah, we'll get. I'll probably need another one of these, but that's fine. Keep the keep it all topped up. There we go. Whoa! Let's throw it through the hedge. So we'll get them in there. Nice. I'll get this one switched on as well. Perfect. So yeah, we'll need another another box of bees for them. But then yeah, that's uh What? Fabric forty thousand. What is going on there? <laughs> okay, there's a bit of a conflict there I think going on. I think I've managed to scoop the sugar into there to make it to fabric. Mm. Oh well, 
Right, we'll see what happens there. Uh, hopefully it's uh, not glitched and it's uh, done something funny. Hmm. Okay, right. <laughs> so, next job then is we need to move on to some um, sugar beet planting. We we have got a planter. Uh, we've still got a planter in here. Hidden in the back. Just here. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to get um, the field up here planted first. So we'll just nip on it there. Yeah, there you go. So plenty of fertilising contracts. Uh, I have paid off a chunk of the loan as well. So we're down to 255 on the loan now. It's over 320, I think, the last time we saw you. So that's uh, that's been plugging away as well. So I think, yeah, we'll nip over to field 99. We'll get that in the ground first. And then, yeah, we'll need to plant 51. And then I'm going to plant 16 with sugar beet as well. There are a few sugar beet fields uh, being planted this year. There's also some potatoes as well. So I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, at the moment, this one here has been a pos one that I've had interest in, but it's yeah, two hundred thirteen thousand to buy. And it's silty clay, the soil, so it's not that productive either. So yeah, um, I might just keep my eyes peeled for a, a decent field coming in. Um, but what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to nip down to the dip down to the dealership again. I'll go and pick up the John Deere. And yeah, we'll uh, get it hooked up and yeah, we'll get over to uh, that first field and get it planted. So we'll see you probably up at that field. Uh, we'll get going with it and um, yeah, we'll set up a bit of a time lapse, I think. Right. Hope you enjoy the music and uh, yeah, we will see you probably a good chunk through that field.
There we go then, folks. On to the final part of this field. Apologise if my uh, throat sounds a little bit croaky. I'm recording on this on a second session and overnight. Um, and yeah, I've come up with a, a little bit of a sore throat. I think it's because I'm back to work and I've been talking a lot <laughs> at work. So um, yeah, um, so so apologies if it's a bit croaky. So I think that's the first field completed. Yeah. Okay. So we still need to obviously get uh, field 51 with uh, sugar beet and 16. But I think I'm going to do them off camera. The John Deere 7R is doing a fantastic job so yeah happy with that but what we need to do is get some more nitrogen on here at the moment it's good but could be a slightly better so we'll get some um, we'll get some uh, slurry pot on here uh, or digestate and then it obviously needs rolling as well before the day's done so we'll get that done um, and then I think what we'll do with the rest of this episode, we'll just nip down and we'll take this down to the dealership. Um, and I think we'll park this outside here a second. Uh, shut this gate. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we'll um, we'll maybe finish the episode with a fertilising contract. Now, I don't mind saying this, but I am cheating a little bit, I guess. Um, fertilising contract uh, I have taken, I'm going to use solid fertiliser for. My argument is it's for another farmer, um, and we're not, they're not organic farmers at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, we're going to go and use a bit of solid fertiliser for them. So that's fine. Um, like I said before, there's three fertilising contracts I've taken on. So we'll go and do the first one, or start the first one, and uh, yeah, get some of that done. Because yeah, there hasn't been many other contracts other than baling contracts in this playthrough so far. I uh, had one harvesting contract right at the start. I had a couple of ploughing contracts, a couple of cultivating contracts, and a couple of fertilising contracts. But apart from that, it's all been baling. So, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention I bought a weight for this tractor as well, uh, John Deere weight, um, just because I needed to have a bit of offset for this uh, planter. So yeah, we went and bought that as well. So let's get down here, and uh, yeah, we'll jump in the Vultra one nine five. Okay, just park this over here for now because yeah, after we've done the fertilising, we may as well head down and get uh, the next field planted. So contracts wise, which one should we go for? Should we do the big one first? Eleven, twenty-six, and eighty-three. So right, they're way over there. So we'll maybe do 83 first actually, that's fine. 83 is fairly local to here. I've got to say earlier as well, in addition to that, uh, all that sugar that is sitting in our storage area, we have 74,000 litres of sugar sitting at the sugar mill as well, in, the, in one of the sheds, uh, loose crates. So, or loose pallets. So uh, yeah, we've moved 74,000 litres of uh, uh, sugar from there as well. And there's a bunch stacked up, um, ready to be... Uh, oh. So yeah, I've got 4,000 litres of uh, fertiliser in here. Yeah, so let me just quickly show you. So yeah, the sugar stacked up there, and then yeah, we've got yeah all this sugar, all this sugar in here just now, um, and then yeah, here's our trailer and our lorry are just parked down here as well. Right, let's jump back in. 
Okay. 83 is down here, I think, is it not? Yeah. Down here on the left. Right. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Right, entrance is down here somewhere. Okay. Nice double gate to get in. I'm so glad they brought the Vulture tractors back in. I, like, I think Vulture tractors are alright. Um, I know some people don't like them, but I think they're great tractors. We have a lot of them around our neck of the woods around here as well, up in the highlands. Um, we do see a fair few Vulture tractors about up here. So, I don't think they're a bad thing. But yeah, it's got a nice spreading width on this uh, fertilizer spreader as well. What I've done is the the wee little trick that you can do with fertilizer spreaders. I've reduced the spreading amount. I've deactivated the automatic application um, and reduced it right down to save on fertilizer costs. Um, you're not aware of how to do that. Let's just turn that off for a second. Let's have a go into the help menu. So yeah, you've got activate automatic application or deactivate and then you can play about with the application rates by going right stick and if you just have a look at the application rate you can go up and down. Usually an automatic mode is kind of quite high up so you can reduce it right down to there and that way you're going to produce uh, less fertilizer is going to be coming out of the hopper and uh, you're going to yeah, save yourself a little bit along the way so let's turn that off again so it's not going to take us too long to do these fertilizing contracts with this hopper it's like I said it's got a good working width uh, this is one of the smaller fields but um, yeah, I'm just, again, going to be a bit cheaty and I'm going to use the same equipment for the same contract, for all the different contracts, um, just to save a little bit on uh, the higher costs as well. Just simulate it being a, a farmer contract, different farmer's contract and you have to use the, that equipment. <laughs> right, there we go. Almost there, I think. So if I do this now, 93%. Don't have to be too neat about it. There we go. So that's that contract complete. Now then... We can claim on that one, so collect that. There we go. May as well accept that one as well while we're at it. May as well do as many as we can. So that contract's done now, and we'll just keep moving along and getting the other ones done, I think. So, I think we'll finish the episode there. Um, yeah, got a little bit done. We've got our... Uh, our tailor shop in the, on the go anyway, so we can start producing some clothing, which is got. We've got our threads on the go. Uh, and yeah, we've got our first field of sugar beet planted, and um, like I said, I'll get the, the rest of the gubbins on that field done. We'll get it rolled, we'll get some uh, slurry on it. I'll throw that into the intro on the next episode. Um, and planting the other sugar beet. I think. We'll hold off until April to get the uh, potatoes in the ground um, and then yeah we'll look at what else needs doing. Um, fair bit to do still I guess. Um, I'm going to keep juggling the sugar um, sort that out and yeah anything else um, and yeah we will see you on the next one I think. Yeah, we'll go this way take us around to the other 
other side of the map. So, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to share or comment, please do. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you hit that like button, that would be amazing. Um, I really appreciate it if you do. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time on Greenlands on the Organic Route Challenge. Um, for, but for now, ta and we will see you very soon. All the best.